have it. This is the AMD system with the Crossfire configuration, Ifinity, three monitors. You don't have to have the same brand monitor. As long as they support the same resolution and quality, you should be okay. Here I have a Samsung and an Asus or Asus, depends on how you pronounce it. Here are the system settings that I have right now set up 4.6 gigahertz on that FX processor, eight core. There are the memory settings, the motherboard, the graphics cards, obviously, I overclocked the uh, core of the graphic cards to 925 so that they match, okay? So both of them are set to 925 on the core and 1250 megahertz on the memory, okay? So just so you see it. However, I have left the um, other settings such as the fan, the uh, voltage, all at defaults, okay? So I didn't change any of that. Using the Catalyst uh, latest drivers 12.8, okay, I didn't upgrade to 12.9 yet. So there we go. Those are the settings that we're running. Crossfire configuration dual on this AMD system. We're going to run some benchmarks now. But before we do that, just to go over some temperatures so you can get an idea on the minimum and maximum. It's about 40 degrees, 30, 35 to 40 degrees Celsius on idle. Okay, that's the idle temperature again on auto settings for the fan speed and did not touch the voltage at all on that. And of course, when you have it on full load, depending on which uh, card you're talking about, the primary card is usually hotter than the secondary card, okay, that you have connected. We're talking about a maximum of close to 70 degrees Celsius there on the GPU, okay, so that's bang that on whether I had a single card or a double crossfire configuration the temperatures are still basically the same so no changes there on that which is great because I didn't want uh, overheating on this so temperatures are very very acceptable on it now looking at some benchmarks here on 3d mark vantage you can see here the performance scores the GPU score is really what I'm looking at 35706 compared to other graphic cards you can go online and search for that or you can compare on my other videos such as a single card or a 7970 you can see here how much more performance you get out of this also on 3d mark 11 the performance benchmarks there you have them again the GPU scores Again, it gives you a good idea on how much more performance you're going to get compared to having a single card uh, or even having a single 7970 card for that matter. There they are. There are the scores. Considerable performance increase. I'll let the gaming benchmarks basically explain themselves. Enjoy. Well, there you have it. Those are the gaming benchmarks for this Crossfire configuration. Furmark also showed here the OpenGL. You can see how much more frames you're getting per second on the left-hand side with Crossfire compared to the right-hand side with one card. Cinebench also on the rendering. You can see here below 73, 74 frames per second as opposed to 62 with a single card. Not bad at all. This... Um, card actually the 7950 goes for about 299 or less with the rebates right now so not bad at all if you're looking to get uh, a hardcore system going on here again i'd like to thank amd for providing it let me know what you think and happy thanksgiving to all of you hope you enjoyed this uh, holiday weekend and thank you for watching